Good idea to take some notes. Yes. Okay, so another May. And then, so you can put it on with the side of the brush where you want the light green. But then taking a little bit of time with the edge so it still looks fairly refined, right? And you can get the type of branching and leaves that that tree has. form first, right? So that's the good thing that I saw you doing because the form matters the most, right? And then the detail. So it's a good thing that you saw that. And then once you've got that strong, then you can start to develop a little bit more details into that. form of the tree, draw in a bit the branches, you can at this point drag through a little bit. And then, push this off on. Um, and it'll give it uh, the leaf texture without any time of dot 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 dot. So that's a nice, another nice quick trick. It will look cool, and then we'll just wait for that to do its magic and get you a nice texture. So, so that's something that you could try at home. Um, and yeah, and I want to. Maybe I've got to break up this like too, right? I have some leaves there, so it's a nice shape. Uh, you can also experiment with um, using uh, sea sponges. They're really nice for doing trees too. I wouldn't get carried away with it because it can really look like just a sponge painting then, <laughs> but it can be a good technique. Okay, so let's look at uh, some other uh, tree formations. Now you already had practice with coniferous trees in the class, right? Mm. So maybe we should move on to a different type of sure. plant material.